Ladies and gentlemen, today I will make you understand piping isometric drawing, double rolling. Our topic is piping isometric drawing, double rolling. I will make you understand double rolling. First, to read this isometric drawing, we see not. You can see not here. So, here we have to follow the rule north opposite south east opposite west up down so start from here point here will where it is going east then up this one south down East. Now we need to focus this. This is rolling, double rolling. How you understand? See here the blue line is going to is going to east. Then it is going to north. North. Then it is going to up. You can see here, then it is going to up. Here we have red lines, vertical rolling, and the blue lines is horizontal rolling. You can see here, this is called vertical rolling, and this is called horizontal rolling. So, if the lines like this, this is called vertical rolling, if the lines this way, this is called horizontal rolling. This is important thing you need, need to know. Now, we have to make calculation here. Here what? Degree. What degree it is? Rolling. So here, the measurement is 725. This is called base. And this is perpendicular 725 so we will use 10 formula 10 formula we have here 10 theta perpendicular by base understand so what we will do we will calculate here you can come here so this is perpendicular 725 725 divided here also we have same 725 725 so what we will get 1 you can see 1 now formula 10 shift here use 10 formula then answer then equal to so what is the what is here 45 degree how much rolling here 45 degree how much rolling here first 45 degree understand 45 degree rolling now this is the line we have to calculate this this is given this is given we have to calculate this line for this because double rolling here you understand double rolling so what we have to do we have we we don't know this line measurement so we will use this pythagoras theorem so you 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 make it like this a 6 we have a we have a 7 how much 7 25 725 so we have b 725 725 understand 725 725 when we make this c equal to under root 725 square plus 725 square c will come 1025.30 understand 
see see this line this line how much this line 1 0 1 0 2 5.30 if you calculate from here how you calculate c you can see here under root under root okay 1725 square 725 where we have we have square okay plus 725 we have square equal to we will get 1025 you can see 1025.30 0.30 understand <coughs> this now you have to focus here second degree because we have double rolling now this how much rolling this this how much getting roll this from here This one to this one. How much rolling? Now we have forty-five. We got it one zero two five point. Now perpendicular again ten theta by perpendicular by base. So what we do? Six one five divided one zero two five one zero two five. Understand? so it will come like this so we will click here as d 0.6 now shift now now 10 10 where we have 10 answer we will get 30.96 30.96 degree this one this one this one 30 this one degree 30.96 other degree so this is also this one is 45 degree and this one is 30.96 degree understand so this is our double rolling this is called double rolling so this this 45 degree this one 30.96 Where it is going? Going to up. Now here we have 45 degree. 45 degree. It is going to east. Then it is going to north. We have well neck flange. This one well neck flange. Now I will make you actual installation. Actual installation. This we have the isometric drawing. We will make actual installation through PVC pipe. So. for actual installation we keep this is method we will use this is our north understand north opposite south west and east up down now we will start here we have well neck flange here where it is going going to east see this line is east so we will keep like this way understand we will keep like this way then second where it is going going to up so elbow 90 is there we will keep elbow 90 can you hold now where it is here also we have going up then it is going to south so south we have here you can see here south will keep here it is going to south now where it is going going to down down so we will keep down here you can see understand we will keep down here now where it is going going to east so we have also elbow 90 we'll keep here focus all now we have to make understand here this is the point we need to understand here 
so first we have calculated 45 degree what we will keep here 45 degree elbow so we will keep 45 degree elbow see we will keep 45 degree elbow we have here 45 degree elbow we have calculated here rolling 45 degree first rolling is 45 degree so we will keep 45 degree where it is going going to east going to east then north see we will keep 45 degree elbow going to east then north north we have here you can see here we have not this one not now second rolling is happening rolling you know 30 degree point 96 rolling 30 degree point 96 where it is rolling rolling to up we will make you have to focus here you need to focus here rolling second rolling we have to make up rolling is up so what we will do we will move this one 30 degree up understand this is the point you have to understand we make 30 degree it was before like this now it was this line is going 45 degree like this now 30 degree it is going to up we will move upward we will move upward this is the point you understand now we have here 45 degree elbow so also we will keep 45 degree elbow here where it is going going to going to east you can see here going to east going to east now we have elbow 90 elbow 90 we have here going to north so we will keep north like this you can see here this is our this is our rolling see here here we need to move like this understand this is our actual installation thank you for watching if you have any comment if you have any question comment in the comment box thanks for watching you watch all the videos we have already uploaded about how to calculate pipeline how to read isometric drawing. Thank you for watching.